Yo, I'm going to be doing a live hacker rank solve. Uh, I would recommend watching this on two times or like 1.5 times speed because I'm going to do unsolved. So I guess we'll just do this probably geometry or topology problem. Um, so yeah, I would do it on um, faster speed because I'll do it live. So I might be rambling. Who knows? All right, let's go ahead and read the project. Or not the project, the... A description. Madison is a little girl who's fond of toys. Her friend Mason works in a toy manufacturing factory. Mason has a 2D board. So a 2D matrix. Um, a, where H is rows, W is columns, divided into one by one cells. So just a square grid. Oh, not necessarily square. I guess it could be rectangular. Um, some coordinate I, J has an integer and he stacks, whoops, he stacks that many cubes. So this is the height. So a 2D uh, grid, rectangular, has a value at each index that describes its height. And the height is how many cubes, I guess, are stacked. And they're one by one, so they are, in fact, cubes. Um, and we need to calculate the 3D surface area. OK, so my initial thought is that if we open up like paint 3d real quick um we're gonna have a 3d shape we'll make it make it orange shrink it down so just a normal cube has a surface area of six units which wouldn't be hard so if we could just straight up count the number of cubes that'd be nice but there's like obfuscation which is happening, which is probably what makes this problem hard or harder, is that um, certain cubes are blocking other cubes' sides so that their surface area is like non-contiguous. It's not it's not six for every every cube. Because we can run into a situation where we have, for example, actually can I just copy this? Yeah, so we can have a, another cube. And there could be a cube next to that cube like this. Let me put this behind it. Uh, something like that, right? So if you have two cubes next to each other, uh, can I get this a little better? There we go. So if you have two cubes next to each other, then the surface area goes from six. So this is like Oh, you can't draw on these? Really? Okay, so say we split this cube in half, right? They have a mutual side where the surface area isn't being counted. So if we had two cubes, we would just multiply this by two and we have 12, right? But we're actually losing two because two sides are being shared. So we actually have a surface area of 10 units squared. So really, we just have to account for the height differences to like make up for this obfuscation or mutual sides. Um, so let's just have a total surface area. Start at zero. And I guess we could have rows equal to a dot size and columns equal to a zero dot size. Since it's rectangular, this, this is legit. That should work. Let's also have an enum for direction where we have north. Let's have all the cardinal directions north east south west oh this music is suddenly louder okay so music hello okay um so we basically want to iterate through each grid cell that would be a of i j I'm gonna use I'm gonna use R and C though. So we'll have an int R. R is less than rows plus plus R. C is less than columns plus plus C. So now we're iterating through each cell. We can calculate the height simply is A at R C. Um, this is the height of current cell. We need to calculate height differences between all neighbors, all cardinal neighbors. The cardinal neighbors are R minus one, 
R plus one, C minus one, C plus one. Are we calculating the bottom? Does the bottom count? Yeah, so a single cube has surface area six, which means we are counting the bottom and the top. So we know for a fact that we have at least two surface area per cell because the top and the bottom always count. At least two units, that's top plus bottom. Th those sides added up, right? So now we just need to check. What happens if it's out of bounds? I didn't think about that. What happens if, say we have some grid, this can be X, Y, and Z. So we have some grid like this. Uh, boom, boom, this is a four by three, right? So say we have an orange cube here and we need to check the height differences between its neighbors. So this is uh, west, south, east, and north. Two of these are out of bounds. So we'll just add a check for that. If r minus one is less than zero, this would be out of bounds. Do we wanna make four? Yeah, let's do that. Let's have a an array of neighbors. The cardinal directions. Then we could just simply say that neighbors at direction north is equal to the height that we calculated. Otherwise, if it's in bounds, then the neighbors at direction north is equal to the height minus the new height, which would be a above it. So this is north of the cell. And we just do the same thing, actually. It's not that bad for all of them. So this will be plus one. This will be C. And this will be plus one as well. And this will be south. And this will be R plus one. This will be C minus one. This will be C plus one. Uh, wait, this should be, yeah, south. And then to the left would be west which makes this east. Making sure all that looks good. East, east, west, west, south, south, north, north, minus one, plus, minus, 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 plus, minus, plus. Okay, so now we have the differences stored in our array here. So we could have a, a local surface area, which could start at two, the top plus the bottom. And then we could go through all neighbors and check the height difference. Uh, we should only take positive, otherwise it's obscured, right? Only take positive. So we could just say for ints x, x less than four plus plus x. If neighbors at x greater than zero, then we say that the local surface area plus equals the neighbors at x. And once we calculate the local surface area, we can add that to the total surface area. Um, does this make any sense at all? This could be a completely wrong approach. I'm not very good at geometry. Or topology, although this isn't very top topology oriented. Orientated. Um, we're calculating the total height and then checking its neighbors to see how many exposed sides there are. Each exposed side. That's the difference, and we're adding that to the local and then total, and then we're checking the next and then returning. Um, we'll run it and see what happens, but. Um, uh, what did we do wrong? A seg fault. Okay, we're accessing memory that we're not allowed to access. Ah, uh, 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 if this is greater than or equal to rows, and if this is greater than or equal to columns. 
then we then we return. No, we don't return. We just assign the height, and this isn't else. This is off by four, and this isn't off. Three, three. Okay, what did we do wrong here? If C plus one, so say we have eight columns. So if s that means the highest index we can do is seven. Um, yeah, so that this seems right. Direction east. It passed the simple case, but not a more complex case. A three by three. We're off by four, so maybe it's not checking the very last one. Because that would be a surface area of... Local surface area is two. Local surface area plus equals the differences. If it's greater than zero, yeah, that makes sense. less than zero then the direction north is equal to the height makes a little bit of sense I think I'm going about it wrong Yeah, this is why I recommend maybe fast forwarding because the initial thought I had, let me just check if I'm, am I recording? Yes, I'm recording. Okay. Um, four neighbors, one for each cardinal direction. Let's look at the image. Um, West, east. Um, it's off by a little bit. Why is that? The height is A of R C. Maybe I'm calculating columns incorrectly. At least two units. Right, so no matter what, the surface area is two, at least. And we add to the surface area the value at neighbors x if it's greater than zero, because we don't want to take negative or zero values, because they'd be obfuscated. Total surface area plus equals local surface area. I'm gonna run it again. I don't know what's happening. Maybe this approach is just wrong. Might have to restart the approach. This music is way too loud. How do I turn this down? Where's the volume? Oh, volume mixer maybe? <sighs> R minus one. Oh, my God, man. That's what happens when you copy and paste code. That's frustrating. I should fix it. Oh, or not. Oh, okay. I don't know if I trust it though. It's passing the basic cases. Mm, yellow, we'll see what happens. If there's, we'll fix the cases as we fail them. Oh, we didn't fail any. Yeah, so the issue was I was doing columns in the, in the row 
in in DC slice. Like each slice is a, is a row, and then you access the row per column. And I copy and pasted, so then I had this um, th the music turned off. So yeah. Oh, we got 30 points. Fantastic. Well, um, if you want more of these, let me know. Uh, me just staring at a screen and wondering why my code isn't working. Super fun time. All right.